What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we are going to be installing some Whalen Ion uh, Duos and Trio lights to the truck. So the reason that we're putting some of these on here, um, if some of you don't know what the Trios are, they produce three different colored lights, amber, blue, and white. So the whites I'm going to program to be a steady burn and I'm going to have a switch um, so I can, when I go into reverse, if I need extra lighting, I can switch them on to two of these and two other ones are going to burn uh, solid white, giving me some extra light as I'm backing up. The amber ones are going to be uh, 360 on the truck, uh, two in the front, four in the, or two in the rear, and uh, they're going to give me some visibility while I'm out plowing this season. Uh, we're looking forward to that. Going to have a little, uh, a little bit uh, to say about my plow and stuff soon. How I'm getting plow contacts and kind of how I'm doing some pricing. And then um, blue. The other option here is blue. And the reason I use blue is because I am a volunteer firefighter here in town. So I want to get uh, some lights put on the truck. Uh, let people know that I'm coming down the road. Uh, so we'll show you one here real quick. So there is the amber, the blue, and then this one is already synced to steady burn. So there you go, there's your white. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few minutes, I'm going to sync these up, um, I'm going to sync the patterns for the blue, sync the patterns for the, uh, the amber, and then this one still needs to be synced to steady burn white, and then I got to go ahead and do the same to two more sets of lights and then we'll start putting them on the truck for any of you out there who are interested in doing the same the duels are very nice lights they're very durable um how you go about syncing them these two gray wires right here sorry these two gray wires that i have twisted together are syncing both of these lights right now so I've already picked the pattern for both of these amber lights. I know my hand's blocking partially one of them, but you can see them flash. So now they have gone into a sync mode, doing the same flash. Same thing I believe is true for the blue. I think I did these already. So they are synced, just not on the pattern that I want. So we'll go ahead and fix that. So let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. It is the pattern that I want. What I need to do is they're in phase one lighting right now. So I have to disconnect these wires. Touch the blue one. And, oh, I'm sorry. Blue one and then this white and violet one. Should put that into phase two. Which I don't really know what that means. I'm just following the instructions. We do the same thing on this light. And now I believe that if I now connect the two sinks and give power to the light heads again, and there you have it. So now these blue ones are in sync. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this one on steady burn, and then we'll start getting some of the other ones programmed and get them on the truck. Okay, so here we are. We got all some wiring, which I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. A couple switches, uh, some electrical pieces here. And we got the trios, the blue, amber, white. These are blue and amber, just amber, just white. So uh, we're going to be putting some on the back rack here. And some in the corner pockets. And then two in the front. So, yeah, see what, see what happens here. Okay, so <laughs> that took... You know, the lights on there, it actually took a lot longer than I thought I was going to. It took like three days. So, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't record much more, but I'll show you the final project or final product. So we got the front of the truck. Let me switch the camera around here. So the, kind of right in the sun here, but there's a light head here and a light head over there. And they're just nice little surface mounts, low profile. Uh, I'm not a big fan of light bars, and I have a lot of room here in the grill for lights, but the plow is going to be sitting there, so I thought that would be a, a nice spot. I'm just looking for a little visibility, make sure everyone's staying safe. And then, uh, 
So those ones in the front are going to flash amber and blue on different switches. The one here and there are going to be amber, blue, and white for a reverse. The white has an override. And then we got amber ones in the corner. So the amber ones, I'll show you in a minute. You can see um, from the back of the truck, and I have them angled so you can see from the side for pulling out drivers. Let me get these saws out of the way and the tailgate up. So, wired some switches in here. These are our amber lights. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Amber lights, our blue lights for the fire department. And then this one is, is our clear, our white override. So we'll start first with the amber ones. Pop those on. There you go. Nothing crazy, just a uh, nice little, nice little amber lights for some visibility. Let's see here. Might be a little hard to see being in the sun, but no, oh, you can see them. So you can see the corner lights from the back, and then we got the lights up there on top. Look really nice at. Uh, at dusk and dawn and really bright at nighttime. And then if you stand over here to the right, this is 90 degrees with the tailgate. And you can still see them. So I think they look I think they look really good here. Um let's see what's next. So we'll do the blues now. So again this is for Responding to the fire department. These ones I only have up on the top. Blue in the front, blue in the back. These ones aren't going to uh, aren't going to go for the for the blue. And then uh, the override. Well, right now they're just white for reverse. It looks like they're flashing. They're not. At least it's, that's how it looks to me on the camera. It looks as if they're flashing. I think it's just because they're so bright, but they're not. It's just solid, just solid white. Um, so that that white will override anything else. So if I put on the ambers, say I got my plow lights on, I'm driving in and out of driveways. If I want to go in reverse, I can put the whites on. The ambers will still flash. I know it looks like those are flashing, but they're just solid. I think they're just so bright that the camera's not picking them up right. And then as soon as I turn the reverse lights on, or off, I'm sorry, they start flashing again. So this was a very long process, <laughs> but I'm glad I did it. Uh, there's nothing, uh... the one thing that I really wanted to do, that was really important to me were these corner lights. Those to me, I think, were the most important. Um, this is my first year that I'm going to be plowing uh, as a business. And in recent years, uh, every one of you drive around and you see guys plowing in terrible conditions. There's snow banks, there's snow falling, the roads are slippery. And you see residential plow truck drivers bombing in and out of driveways. Uh, coming back onto the roadways, especially as as a plow driver, you need to be a lot more careful because you got a lot of stuff going on. You're raising the plow, you're dropping the plow, you're trying to move the snow, um, and there could be snow banks that have, you know, if you're in the middle of the season, the town, the highway department has already built up some uh, some berms by the roadway. You're trying to back the truck out, and you don't really know what's coming. You might not be able to see yet. I want people to see me. So these are going to be the first things popping out of the driveway. And then I'll be able to stick the, the tail end of my truck out onto the roadway, maybe pause for a second, make sure I'm being seen, and then start to creep my way out. But um, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. I see a lot of guys, and I see a lot of guys just kind of backing right out of driveways. Um, we have a lot of like 45, 55 mile an hour roads around here, and I want to be seen. So that was the main reason I did that. Um, but I think, uh, I think it all looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It was quite the, uh, time 
it's quite the time investment. I think I started Friday for a couple hours. I spent about six hours yesterday doing it, and today is Sunday, and uh, just finished up these switches. So I still have some work to do. Um, as you can see here, where are we? It's not very neat back in there. Um, I still want to sync up these rear lights, but eventually it'll all be, all the wires will be kind of braided and taped together with electrical tape. Get that all neatened up under there. And it'll be looking really nice. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys, hope you guys, uh, found that entertaining. Um, uh, if you guys are looking to put the uh, lights on your trucks as well, the Waylands, or you now my buddy always yells at me for saying it wrong, the Wheelands, um, they work really well. They're really nice. It's a lot of what uh, municipality uses, police, fire, EMS. They're, they're reliable lights. They're really bright, and uh, they'll last for a really long time. So hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, you know where to reach out. Thank you.